Baby. We don't die, we multiply. Can't spell ISO without that I. That last intro got copyright, but we back, so like and subscribe. Just vibe to the guy that A that that C to the TOA. If you wondering where I've been, I came back just to let you know. Hey, hey. How y'all doing, man? It's your boy, the God, the Sensei Steez. I am back again, but this time with a special video. The vid that they all been, that all of y'all been asking me for. I'm sorry it took so long. I hate that I have to break the game, but sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. There's not much left of this game, so I'm ready to just destroy the rest of it with the dribble tutorials. They are here now, and what better way to start it off than the, than, 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 than the basic tutorial, the basics. I gotta give y'all the basics, which end up being some of the most, the, just the greatest kills. The greatest just anything, like the basic dribble tutorial is pretty much all you're gonna need to get open. It's like meta dribbling. It's this. You seen my basic tutorial last year? Got a million views. I'm ready to give y'all another one. Go ahead and like, subscribe, turn the noties on, cause this is not gonna be the last one I give y'all. I'm, I'm just ready to unleash it all. It's about that time I get into that mode. How we y'all doing? We are back, people. And you see I got the controllers. You see I got the logo. You feel the energy? Do you feel my energy? We are ready. Are you ready? Well, God damn it, here we are. Why is this dude looking at me like that, bro? What, what, what's good with you, dog? You, you want to shout out? Shout out to Not Savage with an X. And the, and, the, and then the sad face at the end. He, he want to be part of the video, y'all. But yeah, pretty much all you're going to want to know for this video, y'all. Of course, let me go through it. You're going to want to have to. Go to your controller settings and just make sure that the pro stick orientation is on absolute. Because that is how I dribble. If you don't dribble on absolute, this could be a little tough. But you're just going to have to translate everything that I do kind of on some stuff. And I'm going to make sure that I'm in the middle of the court. So even if you're not on absolute, it should still translate to you the same. D -d 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 Steezo just does it all for y'all. I got y'all, bruh. I know what it's like. See, nobody else will be able to break down these dribble moves like I can because I just got it like that. You feel me? I've been doing this for years. I am a vet. So now that you have the controller settings, you're going to want to go ahead and put on these SIGs. Now, usually I make y'all go and watch a whole video for the SIGs, but I love y'all, man. It's a good day. Lakers just won a championship. I don't care if you're not a Lakers fan. If you're not a LeBron fan, I don't care, bro. It's all love. It's basketball. Hopefully your favorite team make it to the championship next year. You feel me? But check it out. Kyrie Irving dribble style. Pro 2 moving crossover. Behind the back pro 3. Spin pro 4. Hesitation pro 8. Six size up Giannis Antetokounmpo. I changed up my six size up. And I'm going to get into that in a little bit why I did that. Park size up, part three. We're not going to get into park size ups in this video, but in future videos, stay tuned. Basic size up, need this, pro five, that's important. And then pro five, uh, actually, no, that's not important. It's the pro five signature escape, which is important because that's what's going to give you the curry slides and all that. I will be teaching you that. I'm pretty much just going to teach you the basics, y'all, what you need to get open. Just to be a, you know, still a dribble guy, but what's the essentials that you need to get open? I got the Xbox controller and I got the PlayStation controller. Stay tuned. Like the video. Let's get into it. Sensei Steez, how many times we got to do this, people? Come on, y'all. You know what it is. So first thing you're going to need, y'all, is some long shots and some chest. Imagine. <laughs> now, nah, first thing you want to know, I don't know if I ever addressed this before, but a good way to practice your dribble moves is you're going to want to go to personal workout invite like you know just uh just anybody like a just a just whatever defender we're gonna go with who uh dion waiters you know what i'm saying and then you want to go to the personal workout invite 
a team member and then go to personal workout and this is actually a good way to do and practice dribble moves you see what i'm saying and they go dion right there what up dion you bring the gummy bears cash all right g all right man oh no gummy bears all right bad bad bad, bad. what's it called all right so the first moves I will be teaching y'all is how to do peekaboos. Now, everybody thinks that the best moves in the game, like to do the curries, is to spam the curry. This ain't even the most efficient curry, y'all. What you want to do to do a peekaboo is, like I explained it in the 2K20, you want to go to the right and then boom. You see? It's just simple as that. And I can show you a more efficient one. Watch the clip right now. For example, you see how we're just faking like we're going to the left and then going right back to the middle it's as simple as that people this is an essential move it's a basic it's one of the most basic kills in the game just because you have to guard it you see if i go to the left and then i go back right it's just hard to guard dion doing a pretty good job of it right now but as you can see in the park it's just a kill simple and it should get you open for that three because the curry slides what makes them so op and people don't really explain this well is that it kind of brings you backwards while going sideways so you're really gonna have to stay on it so as long as you're staying fast going to the left going back right then you should be good and you're allowed to do this and it's pretty self-explanatory is all you want to do is get your speed boosted now to the right and then you could just as, as, see how i went too far right there it didn't let me do it if you go a little bit, say from where I'm standing to about right here, it'll allow you to cancel and just go into the curry slide right away. So watch the speed boost. And then it goes right back. And what allows me to do that is my speed boost only goes a certain amount of like just distance. So if you just measure the distance, say from about, watch this circle. See where I'm in the middle of the 2K circle? from about to the right of 2k circle if you go that amount of distance with speed boost it'll cancel right into the curry and if you didn't know how to curry it's diagonal down you know you gotta hold it so speed boost you can press up and then hold r2 go to the left and then diagonal right so watch this you see and the, just the beauty of this move is if he doesn't pick up on the speed boost you could just go right around him you see what i'm saying so it forces them to have to pick up on the speed boost. And the trick is you go back the other way. Boom. And of course, it's 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 such a more kill against like, you know, real defenders. But these are the peekaboos you want to know. There's the momentum. If you don't want to do momentum, it's a crossover with the right stick and the left stick. And then hold diagonal down. So, you know, that could get them. So when you're coming up here, just boom. You see what I'm saying? Those are really important. You want to get down. You want to get down the boom. And if y'all want to know how I'm speed boosting, I'm just hitting up and then I'm moving my left stick a little bit while, you know, after I hit up with the right stick and then I'm holding R2. So watch all in one up with the right stick left and then R2. That is the new way to speed boost. They even say it's a glitch. I don't know if y'all want to count it that, but yeah, see, he gets a little bit of the runoff and that's pretty much what you want to get down. So. And now, right there, that's the one that you want to get right there. So again, one more time, I hate to repeat myself, but sometimes I need to, just for those out there. Repetition, 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 that is the key to dribbling. You want to press up with the right stick, run to the left, then hold R2, and then when you get to a certain spot, a certain distance, you're able to cancel into the curry. You press diagonal down with the right stick. So all together, speed boost, curry. Whether it's white or it's green, go look at my jump shot. I told y'all I got the greatest jump shot in NBA 2K21. Go check that out. Same way, except the other way, people. Boom. Just to kill every time. And you're going to notice it more when you go against non-CPUs that a real defender has to pick up on that. Because if he doesn't pick up on that, what do we do, people? We just go all the way. If he doesn't move to the right, you just go all the way and they give up the two. And sooner or later, they're gonna get tired of giving up the two. So what do you do? You curry back. 
and it's simple i told y'all that's the most efficient way to use the curry not the spam it's the peekaboos people you want to get your peekaboos and what we're going to do now is we're going to add more onto that so once you finally complete and get that down we're moving on to the next lesson which is what i like to call the davis spin back and how do we do the davis spin back got to get to the side of them and look at that and this goes good with the the curry look boom 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 you see what i'm saying it all just changed together and that's basically what this tutorial is going to do for you you're probably thinking steezo you teaching me simple moves well you, if you put simple moves together it becomes a complicated move you see what i'm saying all right now to do this spin you want to make sure if the ball is in your left hand you want to you want to sprint forward this is a running animation so you can practice it back here though so while running forward with the left stick you want to go from i want to say nine o'clock to three o'clock on the right stick counterclockwise if the ball is in your left hand and then press down and r2 that's pretty much it so run forward nine to three down and r2 boom that is how you do what I like to call the Davis spin back because Davis loves this spin. That's why I call it that. You know, you can call it just the spin back. But yeah, that's pretty much how you do it. If the ball is in your left hand, again, you, you jog forward, 9 to 3 with the right stick, then R2 down. All in one. See, if he's too close, it'll look like that. But if you get it on the side or if you get it back here, it's perfect. This move will mess up if the defender is right in front of you, though. So that's why... What did we learn before? We're gonna learn the little boom, boom, and it leaves you open for the three. Come on, people. These are the combos you need. This is gonna be one of the biggest kills. This is just to add to the kill. And again, we're gonna do it with the right hand this time. If the ball is in the right hand while jogging forward, we're gonna jog forward, then from what's the opposite three o'clock to nine o'clock clockwise we're gonna spin and then hold down r2 so raw forward boom and i don't know why i messed up right there but just there we go it might mess up a little bit sometimes and do the other spin but you see what i mean i don't know why it does that on that side it's kind of weird there we go if you get it all together it should look like that so all together now let's see boom 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 simple people i'm gonna go ahead and show an example of the move in its entirety and why it's such a kill like i said this move right here will have them jumping looking crazy just out of their socks people you need this move this move is an essential please practice this move you must get it while you're on the side of them it's a fake to the basket you know you this is this is just a kill right here this is what you need i got y'all now the move that i've been just been requested for that everybody wants to know steezo how do you do the little step back speed the steez boost how do you do the steez boost how you do the little step back in a moving it's very 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 simple and i'm gonna teach y'all right now but just make sure y'all like the video subscribe it really helps me turn them noties on i got more tutorials glitchier tutorials more advanced tutorials coming i'm really locked in on these tutorials right now when i say i'm gonna do them i do them and this is about that time but yeah how do you do the infamous these boosts for example on the screen you see it it's one of the most op moves in the game it's the fastest speed boost and it brings you backwards if you if they, if they play off you you shoot the three if they move anyway you're just you're just zooming past them i invented this i didn't i don't care what all the stage people do or anybody else does the little quick ones this is me right here that's why i call it the steez boost now to do this move it's very simple you just want to have Giannis on an Akumpo six size up. And you could do it with other size ups, but I like Giannis and it's going to look like this. So what you want to do is you want to move forward a little bit and then hold up and then let go. And you see how I move backwards right there? It's as simple as that. You want to move forward, hold up, and then let go as soon as he... You see as soon as the ball goes between the legs and goes to the other hand, that's when you let go. Because if you hold the size up, it'll look like this. It, it plays the whole size up and then it doesn't you know what I'm saying but if you let go at the certain time which is through the legs he will back up I have no idea why he backs up but this is what he does he backs up and after he backs up you could either shoot the three or 
it gives you the fast speed boost aka the steez boost i don't know why it's like this people but a way you could kill you could act like you're going for the three watch like i was gonna do so 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 look you see you can do that like run to the side of them and then and then if he tries to help, you're just gone. You could do whatever you want. This actually is a good way to get into all the other moves that we talked about. So let's talk about it. Boom, boom. Run to the side. Curry. Like I said, that's one way to do it. We could do the old... You know, that was pretty good defense right there. But you see what I'm saying? All of these are just a kill on just regular opponents not the cpus but yeah this is pretty much how you do this these boosts everyone's been asking me all you want to do is move while walking forward it's a moving size up so just know that while walking forward you're gonna hold up with the right stick goes through the legs you let go and you can shoot the three and it's that simple people i like to do this i like to fake them out and then look that's just all the space you need if you have my build go look at my builds people that is enough and you will green the three it's one of the most op moves in the game and it's also one of the most basic simple moves in the game i got y'all and if they try to ah you know i don't know why he's so up on that <laughs> but yeah um it's just look you could just combine each move and it's just the perfect way this is how you want to do this stuff people it just puts you in a freeze like like i said if, if they if they play up on it you can kind of just go past them you know and if they play down like i'm pretty sure he'll play down right here look that's just a three that is my move people that is what i this is like the most I can't believe I'm even giving this out, but this is one of the most broken moves in the game. Of course, other people want to talk about, you know, this stuff and stuff, and that's cool. That's pretty broken, too, but the Steez Boost is probably one of the most strongest moves in the game, and here I am giving it out to y'all. This is how you know I don't care about the being the greatest this year, because if I really wanted to be the greatest, I would sit here, and I wouldn't tell nobody about that, and I'd use it to win a bunch of wages, but I want y'all to be the best, like I said. I, I, I appreciate the subs and the support y'all been giving me so I just want to give y'all what y'all need just some of the best moves and some people think that that's cheating like oh this move is unfair it might be unfair it might be this or that but a lot of things are unfair we some ISO gods people this game was not made for ISO obviously they want you to fade around screen so you do what you gotta do you do what you do they got all they cheap moves we got our moves too and we don't even got a score like this. We could do other shit. We could do whatever we want. That's the sad part. So I don't really care what people say. Oh, he's doing this. He's, he's exploiting all that. Blah, blah, blah. We are ISO at the end of the day, people. We are ISO. We do what the game tells us not to do. They want us to run screens and do all that. And you can even do my moves in the screens. That's how broken all my dribble moves are this year. I dribble more like a meta dribbler this year than most years, but of course I can get into the glitchy. I got the glitchy tutorials coming. Let me get 10k likes on this video and I'll get into the glitchy moves. But for now, those are the basics that you need to, to just get wherever you want. Like I said, you want to combine them all. You can speed boost to the left. Boom, boom, boom. Look at that. That's just a kill and that's on a CPU. You know what I'm saying? If you want to learn what I just did right there, that's a little, little quick one. I ain't even going to look. Just the escape dribble, R2, uh, the ball's on your left hand, R2 to the side while, while diagonal right with the right stick. Boom, into the curry. You know? I'm not a spam curry. I don't spam curry. I get creative with curry. So you can't say nothing about what I do. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's pretty much wraps it up. I love y'all. Go ahead and like the vid, subscribe. We got more tutorials coming soon. I love y'all, man. It's, it's just a good day. Everything's cool. I appreciate the support. We have 450, 50K subs. More, we get 500. That's love, people. And that's why I'm here to reciprocate that love and give y'all what I got to y'all. Anywho, I'm over talking. I love y'all. Y'all have a good day. Steezo the guy. Like, subscribe, notice. Peace. I live in a constant state of mind. And is real